uh, will be the next uh, verses of the, uh, the the surah. I will just go through them. Those people who were not here. So there the surah begin begins as you can see. We already covered, but just to summarize and then. Surah Al-Kahf. Alhamdulillah. He is the one who has given us his book. وَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ عِوَاجًا He's saying praise be to Allah, that Allah deserves praise, that He is praiseworthy and He has praiseworthy all qualities. All praise belong to Him. Anything and anywhere where there is beauty or there is goodness has come from Him. The source is Him and His the, the qualities, His attributes. So wherever there is life, It is from his name, his attribute, Al Hay, the All Living, who is living man. Everything else is living because of him, and it will also die as well or go away. There will be decline. Our lives are like shades, coming and going, coming and going. As you say, about a quarter of million people leave this world every day. And about the same amount or more come, in spite of all medical science and food and things. But still, there are hundreds and thousands of people who leave because it's a process which God Almighty has designed that on this earth some will come, some actually will go. So, if you find beauty, it is from anywhere. You, it is from the quality of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, Jamil. So who is the rare praiseworthy and the credit of everything? Alhamdulillah goes to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. If you have something, it's coming from Allah. But what we become deluded sometimes? Oh, I am this. I have knowledge. I have this intellect. I am very strong. Where have you uh, brought this strength from? I am very strong. Put your face five minutes in the fire. Let's see how strong you are. Sorry, strength nikal di. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala said, "Khuli kal insan u daifa." The insan, the human being, have been created as weak, very weak. We are very weak in the sense, air. There's so much air in the room, oxygen. If it, I don't get oxygen for few minutes there, I mean. And if it goes in, it doesn't come out. Then I am out as well. If food I don't get, then I am actually almost actually dead. And if it goes in, doesn't come out, then it's problem. So you see, doesn't suit. It doesn't suit a person, a human being, actually to say I am this and I have this and everything is given by Allah Jalla Majduhu, and it goes back. All beauty and all things and the model. You see very. Big stars and others and football stars and others and them, you know once they pass away, people remember them one few days in the news and then they are finished. Then only in books and when time comes, when the books and everything will finish, who will remember? So a person is weak. So all what I say, Alhamdulillah, is referring to this first. Actually, words are saying that every praiseworthy, every blessing, anything you have, power, wisdom, knowledge, money, blessing, coming from Allah Jalla Majduhu, is not from you. Why it is given? That's what the verses, further verses mention. Then Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mentions, "Allah di anzala ala abdihi al-kitab." So such a mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that He is mentioning that look when we have some secrets we don't want to share with others because we have secrets of success, secret of business, how to actually think. But Allah Jalla Majdu, who is all knowing and we don't know anything, praise be to Him that He is sharing His knowledge. With us, 
Now if you get a consultant from a company, marketing consultant, business consultant, they might charge you 500 pound an hour. Coach, self-development coach, counseling coach, anger management or other 100 pound, 200 pound an hour. But here is Allah the Almighty sharing where the such secrets that you can in whole of the universe and all of your lives this dunya and akhirah you can become the best and you can be the most successful person and furthermore ala abdihi al kitab on his special perfect worshiper making him the example and a model for us so two things we have theory and practical thing and then he mentioned about walam yaj'al lahu iwaja and in this book or actually into according to one opinion or in the prophet there is no crookedness meaning there is no deficiency there is no deficiency at all because sometime you are guided oh there is a bug in there in this program there is bug in this navigation there is bug so that's why sending false messages here there there many things can happen but allah azza wa jalla mentioned that this is gold standard and there's no nothing comes in it nothing goes out all guidance is in walam yaj'al lahu iwaja qayyiman liyundira the it is a book it is guidance the prophet or the the, the the messenger and the book it will give you life it will restore you to the factory setting which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has actually created you and furthermore it will actually straighten you it will give you power it will empower you plus بَأْسًا شَدِيدًا لِيُنْذِرَ بَأْسًا شَدِيدًا مِنْ لَدُنْ It makes you aware of the pitfalls and the dangers which you can face in this life. The problems and the difficulties and the dangers, it already warns you, it already actually mentions you the pitfalls, that these are the dangers. وَيُبَشِّرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ الَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ الصَّالِحَاتِ and to proclaim to the believers who do righteous deeds that they will have an excellent reward and re, uh, recompense and it also mentions the the right path the dangers and the guidance so it mentions the pitfalls and the dangers and mentions the virtues and the good deeds so this a person is like safe he has prophet and a messenger example theory dangers of life harms of life are outlined that look this is no go area this is uh, no go area no entry and this is where all the ben- benefit actually lies this is furthermore one such blessing which the quran mentioned that you can have success in this life some kind of success you can say oh i have a good career okay that's good i have a, a i am successful businessman i am successful uh, family man i am politician but the point to consider is that is there anything forever with you is your beauty with you forever was the, is the prime minister still same prime minister since we were born how many prime minister actually have actually come and gone and now you see our this recent prime minister actually only stay for two months this is dunya this is life and this existing prime minister now when the indian people say he is his father is from india so he's from Pakistani oh yeah he is was father was born in, uh, in Pakistan the south africans say his grandmother is from south the americans say 
this and British Day was born in Southampton. So what does that mean? Success has many relatives and failure has none. This is the reality of this world. This is how mean it is that we judge and we start to affiliate with people based upon office. So people who are around you, they are around the chair of prime minister, not down the prime minister. Without prime minister, one say, oh no, we don't want to even say hello to this guy. Who is he? And now four for South Africans are saying, yes, he has links with us. The Pakistani is saying this, the Indian are saying, American are saying, British are saying this, etc., etc. This gives you, it's an eye-opener, this gives you a lesson okay, that it's not worthwhile making dunya your purpose. People are superficial, superficial relations. You want real relationships.